Hello, um, this is Sunil and I wanted to do a video recording to you so you can understand how our app works. Okay, <clears throat> so if you see at the very top it says what's trending now and on the top right it has a picture of a business icon and then here is a products icon which is like the bicycle and then this is the movie icon on the top right. Okay, so you can actually go and click like this and swipe to the right or the left and you will see what's trending. These are all the trending movies and you can play the trailers right here. Okay, if you make the screen go bigger, then the sound will come on. Let's see. At least the sound should come on. I think something's wrong with my phone. But yeah, the sound comes on to play, and then when you close it, close it back down, it gets quiet again. Okay, so <clears throat> you can this little folding icon on the bottom right, this folding thing. It's not an icon; it's like a folding of a paper. It means you can swipe up. See this? You can swipe up and go straight to the listing page. Okay, this goes to the actual movie page, and you can read everything about it, see all the movies. You can click on more information. Okay. You can also see all cast, technical details, similar movies. And here, you can see all the images. Now this should actually load much faster, so I don't know why it's not loading. I don't know why that thing is not loading. We got to check that out. Okay, but if you do this on any page, see if you swipe down, all the images and video should be there. See this? Can you see how the gesture works? don't know why those are blank they shouldn't be now watch this so basically trailers you can see everything poster images <clears throat> now look at this let's say you do this you have these right you have all the categories so let's put the trailer up here <clears throat> do you see how this works from the bottom so all of this stuff where you swipe down on the listing page has to be implemented on Android. Okay, none of this is actually working on Android, which we have to fix. Okay. Um, here you can take images. Right. Uh, here you can share. Uh, here you can recommend a page. You can recommend the movie. And here you can add it to your favorite list, want list, or watch list. Okay, now let's say you want to go home. You either click here on the home button or you click the bottom left. <clears throat> now the now um, the home page right here has many different functionalities. You can do a search. Okay, now this should have predictive search. Okay, so let's see. Soup plantation. Okay, so this kind of shows the locations, but it should also have predictive search, just the way we have on desktop. Under desktop application, it should have predictive search, okay? So that we also have to get, it have, we have to get uh, working. And it used to work, I don't know why it's not showing up. The predictive, oh, here we go. Here's the predictive part right here. Okay. So now you can see um, <clears throat> over here with the three categories and the three lines on the top left, the sandwich icon, you can search by all the top 10 categories in every, every, every main category is, has up to 10 top categories. And you can go straight and navigate to those sections. Okay. Now, <clears throat> uh, you can, you have the news feed, and you have browser views, and you have my posts. When you browse reviews, 
you can browse businesses, products, or movies. And then there's my post where you can do a post for something. Now, when you click on any one of these, it opens up the right section. So let's click on news feed. <clears throat> and you can see here, this is all what my friends are reviewing. Okay, that's all right here. Okay, this is everything my friend, my, all of my friends are reviewing. And then um, if you click over here, you can filter things just by reviews or by contributions. You know, these are pull downs on the desktop. Okay, now if you look at the home page, right here, your browser reviews and my posts. So if you open up the news feed, you can actually get to that right from here. And you can actually write a post, like what's on your mind, you can do a post from here. See all of these? Now we're gonna have to do something about the compression of images and video because it takes too long. We have to look at what Facebook does and then make the compression even better, okay? Because it's not very good and you, it will take, it will cause users to take, take a long time to upload an image or video, which we don't want. We wanna kinda of emulate the way Facebook does it, okay? Now keep in mind, we are looking at their locations at all times, okay? So this check-in functionality, for some reason, is not, is not, uh, it's not working great. We're going to need to talk about this because it should show things that are very close to you, close to me, for, so I can do a check-in. But it's not bringing up the stuff that's right next to me. Okay, these are on San Clemente, which is not right next to me. I'm in Irvine. So this is right next to me, this Lumos Photography. And these other two. Uh, but we'll need to discuss how to make this better. Now, on Android, we have to check the... Uh, this part the uh, speaking into it uh, because it works well on iOS but uh, we have to use what's native to the phone so we have to see if we can use what's native within Android to fix that okay so remember we have to fix it video and image compression and emulate Facebook what I think Facebook does is I think that they upload the image and then they don't make the user wait around until the compression happens they do that on the back end so we'll need to figure out how to do that um, so let me exit out of that. That was kind of buggy. So let's do this. There's products. These are businesses. These are what's trending. Uh, and then these are movies. And then here's my posts. And you can also do my posts in your feed. Okay. So I close that out. So now you've seen everything on this home page. Now let's look at the profile page. On the profile page, we have the same thing that we do on listing pages. Do you see that? See how this works? So we have to copy what we do on the listing pages and on the profile page onto Android because it does not work there. Sharing of Facebook, when you click this on or off, it should make you log into your Twitter or Facebook account and uh, connect your accounts. So this is turning it on and off. So right now, if Twitter works, Facebook does not work. That, that integration has to happen. So you guys have to work that through my Facebook account and get the sharing capability so you can share reviews okay uh this is the editing of the page right here okay and here we have these uh quick updates what's your favorite movie what's your favorite product these are all the things that uh are going to be updated uh there's another task that we have to do on desktop which also has to come on to mobile apps so I will show that to uh, to Juan. So here are the, all the different sections. These are just lists of all the all the businesses that I recommended. So you can see that here. And these show icons of other what my other friends have recommended. Okay, and that and that means that we have that recommendation in common. 
wants, favorites, friends and followers. Here we also, we have to get this part working here too, similar to desktop. So I think a lot of the functionality in here has to be re-looked at uh, because it used to work and now it seems like it's a little buggy. Okay, so you can see these are my friends. These are the requests I received. I'll confirm all these. Okay. We'll see if we can optimize this because it's taking too long. My imports, these are blocked users. So this importing of context has to be re-looked at to make sure all of these work. Okay, so we should try this and see if the emails go out when you put in someone's email to try and connect to. So if you could please test that. So these are the people that are not on wiki reviews that we've imported. Okay. And all we have to do is click invite all and then it should work where invita email invitations go out. I haven't tested that, but please do that and make sure it works. Now these are all the list of reviews that I've done and you can filter by businesses, all or actors. Okay. You can edit reviews, delete reviews. Everything should be here. Okay. Now this is for notifications, messages. There's some, uh, some, uh, things that have to be resolved here because the messages, if you delete it, um, on desktop, it doesn't get deleted on, on mobile apps. So we're going to have to find out how to fix that. Okay. These are friend requests. You do when you create a new message. We have to optimize all of this here because this should not take this kind of time. So. See, these should automatically come up. I don't know if we need to cache this or not. Okay, nothing's coming up. Here, I'll, I typed Alana, you saw that, and it didn't show up. Now it's showing up, so we gotta fix that. And optimize. So here you should also have the predictive search where it just shows the person's name in the very front in the top area in the two section, which it's not doing. See, I have to click the space bar and then click on their name for it to work. So Merry Christmas. That just crashed the app. That just crashed the app. So we're going to have to fix that in the messaging. In the compose section, it's over here. See, it really needs to be optimized. Okay, so we'll get out of this. <clears throat> By the way, you can do draft messages too. Okay, so now here you have on the very bottom, you have the home screen, you have the nearby icon, <clears throat> you have the W, which will open up the wheel with the pro profile screen, and then you have the notifications. 
So the only one down here I did not do is the nearby icon, which is this. This lets you find nearby businesses, okay? Shows you where they are compared to you. You can click on any of the categories in the taxonomy here. You have to check with Juan because we changed the business taxonomy. So this here needs to emulate that with the changes that we made, okay? Right here. <coughs> And it should show the images, the, the background here should show the background image if there was one uploaded. So the way these business images work is that when you upload an image, what happens is that you can identify if it's a storefront image. A storefront image goes as the main screen. By default, if you upload like a picture of, some, a, of like food or uh, inside or outdoor pictures, they will show up here in the top. But the minute a storefront image is, is uploaded, then that will become the default image. And if you open up, if you upload a logo image, that goes on the top left. Okay. And you can see we have the degrees here. That's the temperature at that location. We uh, have an API we use for that. This is something we're going to be doing next, which is in the participate section. For the help us section, I will explain how all of this part has to work. I will explain to all of this to Juan in January. So you don't have to worry about that for right now. We just have to get the rest of the stuff working smoothly uh, and quickly. Okay. So now you have the nearby, you can even do this. So let's say you're going to New York City. You can just type in New York. Click use location. And then it will show all the places around New York. Okay, for the different ca categories you're interested in. Okay, so all of that works fine. Now let's go to the wheel. This wheel works perfectly. You can see all this. You can do check-ins. For Android, we need the the star and the operation of that gesture to mirror what we did here. Okay, see the check-in that we had in the prior screen? We should have this where you can look by category. I mean, that one basically looks right, right around your local area, but that's not really working for check-ins. So we need to mirror this screen. That was in my posts. When you click on the places icon, it should look like this. Okay, now this post to Facebook, this used to work, but we need to integrate that again. So all the sharing of Facebook should this should work as well. If you now this is on, so if you click it off, it will only post to Twitter and not to Facebook. Okay, but this actually doesn't work right now. So this is once you set it on in the profile section, these will automatically be lit up. That means anything you do will share automatically. But if you don't want to share it, you just turn it off. Okay, this does not turn off your connection. This just won't share it there. Only in the My Profile section will it turn on and off your connection to uh, Facebook or Twitter. Okay, so we'll do this. Here you have, you can create a review, you can create a listing. Here you can enter in a business. We have to make sure this works. Again, we, we have new categories. So here, uh, when we enter in the listing name, in the next step, it actually it actually asks you to put in the listing name, the categories. So those categories have to match what we changed. So you can talk to Juan about that. Then let's see, you can create a review. So it takes you first to search. We can search for the listing and then click on the listing and then write the review. Let's go to a listing. I want to show you how you create a review. This is the tutorial screen. You can give zero star ratings. You can rate all of these. You can always swipe back and clear it out. Okay, now if you want to do a video review, you can click record a little tutorial and we
we allow up to two uh, five minute video reviews. Okay, so this works very well. Okay, you can test that out. But it's a little buggy when we go back. There we go. Uh, can write a we have a minimum character count here, so you might write a certain number of characters before it lets you submit. Okay. Let's just do this. Okay. Here it is. You can save it as a draft, post, and then share. Okay. Now it will always save your review. Whatever you did, if some, for some reason it crashed, it will open it up. Every time you open up the app, it will show you. Sorry, it wasn't published. Do you want to finish the review or do you want to delete it? Okay. There we go. So let me go to more screens here. So this goes to the movie section. This tells you what movies in short times. This kind of emulates what happens on the um, on the desktop. Again, we need to optimize here. Okay. Right here, you can change the location. Watch. Oop. Okay, so it'll change your location, but here it says set current location. It doesn't do anything. So I think that's buggy. See right here when you click set current location, it should look at your your IP address, know the zip code. So if you can see if you can get this to work, because I don't think that that part is working up there. Okay. Theaters. Again, you can click on any one of these. We actually have to turn every one of these theaters, the names of the theaters, not the movies, but the names of the theaters into actual business listings as well. I'll talk to Juan about that. Now it looks at the time that you have right now. And then it only shows you the movie show times, not for the full day, but only what's left for the rest of the day that the user can actually go to. See? <clears throat> okay. time so these are the next closest times looking in looking at today's time what are the next closest times okay that's not working for some reason it's not showing up anything on that screen again we need to optimize this Hmm. Let me do this. I'm hard closing. I'll bring it back up again. Hmm. That's weird. Nothing is showing up. I 
this is going on. What is going on? You log out and log back in again. Hmm. I wonder if something's broken with the API. Maybe I'll stop and record this after I figure out what's going on. Mm. 